and welcome to So You Want to Be Like Me series. I'm Miss Sheila, your singer, storyteller, author, trainer, YouTuber, and children's librarian. And with me, the very excitable, handsome, and eager to learn, Caden Platt. He's going to introduce himself. Hello, my name is Caden Platt, and I want to be a bank teller when I grow up. Miss Sheila, can you tell everybody some facts about me? Here are some fun facts about Caden. He says, I like to play Jenga. I like to draw and do art. My favorite book is The Dot. My favorite food is broccoli. My favorite subject is math, and my favorite color is blue. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jaden is nine and a half years old. Now let's meet our career person. Her name, Diamond De Jesus. She is a bank teller. Yes, but let's let her introduce herself. Hello, my name is Diamond De Jesus, and I am a bank teller at the Bank of the Low Country. Well, welcome, Miss Diamond. Here's our first fun fact. The average salary of a bank teller in the United States is $20 per hour. What is an interesting fact about being a bank teller? An interesting fact about my job is even if you are nice, if a customer gets upset, they can be very rude. Here's a fun fact. You can learn a lot about finances while being a bank teller, such as budgeting, loans, and the stock market. What do you need to be a bank teller? So, Caden, here's what you need to do to become a bank teller. You will need a high school diploma or a GED. You will need to learn basic math and computer skills. You will also need to have great communication skills and you will need experience on cash handling. And being a bank teller means you have to be very alert with things like spotting counterfeit bills. And by all means, learn how to spot errors on deposits and make sure you look for suspicious behaviors in everyone who enters the door. Here's another fun fact. As a bank teller, you have the opportunity to build relationships with clients and coworkers. What character traits do you need to be a bank teller? Caden, here are some character traits that you will need to become a bank teller. One, being patient. Two, being helpful. Three, good communication skills. And four, honesty. Here's another fun fact. Did you know that there were no banks in the United States of America until after the Revolutionary War? What do you do during the day as a bank teller? Caden, I'll give you five things that bank tellers do on a daily basis. One, make deposits. Two, cash checks. Three, make loan payments. Four, place orders for checks. And five, answering the phone to help customers. Here's an interesting fun fact. The first bank in America was created by Congress in 1781, five years after the United States was founded. Hmm. What are the top three things you enjoy about your job? Caden, my top three things that I enjoy about my job are, one, learning new things, two, meeting new people, and three, helping people with their accounts. Of those three, my favorite is helping people. Here's a fun fact. Popular kid movies about banks and investors include Despicable Me, Imagine That, and sing. So check them out. Yeah, we have them at the library. How many hours in a day do you work as a bank teller? How many hours that I put in as a bank teller are eight hours. Here's another fun fact. Nine out of 10 customers are happy with their bank. That's good. How many years have you done this? 
I've been working as a bank teller for one year and nine months, and I still have so much I need to learn. You'll do fine, Diamond. Now, here's a fun fact. The New York's bank had the largest single bank failure in the United States in 1931 when they lost all of their money. I mean, cobweb, zero, nothing. If you can make more money, would you leave this job? Well, Kaden, yes, I will leave. If someone is offering me a better salary, I would love to expand my experience in banking. I love new opportunities. Diamond, with your attitude, I think the future for you is very bright. So keep being positive. Well, here's an interesting fun fact. 94% of banks are classified as small business using Small Business Association, SBA, guidelines. Now that's interesting. Any more questions, Kaden? One last question. Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, Kaden, my inspiration came from wanting better for my family. I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. And that's why I wanted to become a bank teller. Well, I was thoroughly impressed by Miss Diamond De Jesus. She not only had a positive attitude, but she was concerned about her family and she wanted the best for them. So if you haven't met Miss Diamond at the Bank of the Low Country, it's not too late. Stop in and see what she's up to. A special thank you to Miss Melissa Smiley, Diamond Supervisor, who encouraged Diamond to do this interview. And to my curious Caden, he was up for the challenge. He wanted to know everything. So we hope this video has answered a lot of your questions and perhaps you boys and girls might have had some questions well please if this one didn't satisfy you check out other videos and other people and ask questions that's how we learn boys and girls ladies and gentlemen i am so glad kaden came by to join us today thank you kaden thank you for having me for having me well did miss diamond answer all of your questions yes Thank you, Ms. Diamond. Diamond. Well, if you are interested in more, we'll scan or check out all of these to learn about being a bank teller. We have the book in the library, Community Helpers Bank Teller. There's a YouTube video on being a bank teller. And check out that DVD sing. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you again to all that participated. Credits go to Diamond De Jesus, Caden Platt, of Florence Oliver and yours truly. Serving as your narrator, I'm Sheila M. Kearse, Miss Literacy. So you want to be like me, bang teller. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you liked Miss Literacy's video, then please like and subscribe.